Welcome to another edition of the Montalvo Web Tension Control Technical Training Series. Each one of these videos is designed to assist you in using and taking full advantage of all the benefits your Montalvo components have to offer. In this session, we will be covering the basic operation of our S4 controller when being used in an unwind application. The S4 is the industry's easiest digital tension controller to install and operate while still offering advanced capabilities for precise closed loop tension control. The ease of operation begins with a simple control panel. Let's take a closer look. Now that we're here in front of the S4 keypad and display, let's discuss the basic operation. While the S4 is capable of many advanced features, the system is designed for the operator to set it and forget it. That means the operator sets the tension to the desired value, puts the S4 in the auto mode, and then lets the controller establish and maintain the desired tension on the web. To start this process, the operator uses the set point, the cursor, and the plus and minus buttons to set the desired tension for the particular material that is going to be run. As a side note, it's a good practice to develop a list for your operators that provides them with the best starting point tensions for each different material or job that you'll be running on this particular machine. I also need to mention that Montalvo strongly recommends the installation of our M4 tension meter with the S4 controller. This meter allows the operator to observe the output going to the brakes on the S4 display panel while at the same time observing the actual web tension on the M4 tension meter. This reference is very useful in helping the operator to observe and understand the web tension status quickly and easily and to see how the controller is reacting to it at any moment. Now that we've covered these general information items, let's get back to the operation of the S4 tension controller. Here's the steps to set up the S4 to begin a new run. Step one, press the set point button and the current set point is displayed. The set point is the amount of tension that you want the S4 to maintain on your web. Step two, press the cursor button several times and watch how the cursor in the display window moves to each placeholder position. This allows for easy, fast adjustments. Just move the cursor to the placeholder you want then press the plus or minus keys to adjust the number to the set point desired. This will be the total tension weight that you want applied across your web material. Please note that this is a live adjustment, meaning that if you're making this adjustment while the machine is running, it will immediately change the set point. Once you have reached the desired set point, you can press the enter key to save the value to memory. Step three, press the tension on off in the auto manual buttons. Confirm that the tension is on and that the S4 is in the auto mode by checking the LEDs on the control panel. Either the tension LED is flashing or the tension LED is solid and the auto LED is flashing. Both of these LED patterns indicate that the controller is set to run in auto mode and is waiting for the machine to be started. If the correct LED pattern isn't displayed, press the auto manual button or the tension on off button again. In this video, not all LEDs will light up as I'm explaining. That's due to the fact that I'm using a demo unit not connected to a running machine. You can refer to the S4 operator's messages card to get a thorough understanding of the LED patterns. Step 4. 
Once the machine is started, you'll see a change in the LED pattern again. If the soft start feature is being used, the tension LED will be lit and the soft start LED will be flashing while the system is in the soft start mode. This mode is enabled while the machine is starting in order to prevent too much tension during this period. At the end of the soft start time, the LED stops flashing and the auto LED comes on solid. While the machine is running, both the tension LED and the auto LED will remain solid. If the soft start feature is not being used, then both the tension LED and the auto LED will be solid from the moment you start the machine. Step 5. If the operator determines that the tension needs to be adjusted for the particular material while the machine is running, the set point can be adjusted on the fly. Simply press the set point button, adjust the tension as done before, and press the enter key when you have it where you want it. Step 6. When the machine is stopped, the LED pattern again changes on the control panel. Just as the S4 offers the automated soft start feature to compensate for tension during the machine startup, it also offers an anti-coast feature to compensate for necessary tension adjustments during the machine stopping process. If the anti-coast feature is enabled for your machine's setup, then the anti-coast LED will be solid for the preset amount of time while the machine is stopping. Once the anti-coast time has expired, the tension LED blinks, indicating the controller is in the hold mode until the machine is started again. As you can see, the operation of the S4 tension control system is very simple. In order to further assist you, we supply tools that will help you become more familiar with your S4 and also doing advanced configuration of the system. These tools are provided in the box with the shipment of every new S4. If for some reason you no longer have these, you can find the operator's handbook, the operator's messages card, and the installation manual by going to our website www.montalvo.com and then to the product support section. If you need any additional information, please call our customer service line at 1-800-226-8710. For our international customers, there will be a list of numbers for you to contact at the end of this video. And that concludes this video. Except there is one last item I'd like to share with you. Montalvo not only provides the best remote technical support in the industry, but we also offer on-site technical support at your facility. If you would like information on scheduling myself or another member of our technical team to assist you with an installation, repair, or fine-tuning of your web tension control systems, please let us know. Thank you again for watching, and I look forward to having you join us again for another video in the Montalvo Web Tension Control Technical Training Series.